The home of the South Sioux City Cardinals is getting a major upgrade just in time for football season. I stopped by the Cardinal Athletic Complex to get an inside look at the new facility. Major upgrades are in the works at the Cardinal Athletic Complex. We're really excited, the community's excited, our, our student athletes are excited about the completion of this field. High school sports and activities play a big role in South Sioux City. Well, like many communities, our uh, athletic field is uh, somewhat the hub of the community. So on uh, Friday nights, on weekends, when you know, football season's occurring, when soccer games are happening, when there's marching band contests, uh, it's going to be a gem of a place for our students to showcase their talents, but also for uh, anyone. The South Sioux City Community School District has been budgeting for this update for years. Uh, we are building a new field turf field, a new track, uh, some bleachers and a press box for our home crowd, and then a new ticket office in this uh, first phase of construction. The second phase, which will include new concession stands, a plaza area, restrooms, and more, will rely on donor funding to complete. The rest of the phases are going to be dependent upon donor funding, which we've already secured and had some uh, very uh, generous partners come forward. Demolition on the old complex started in late spring. It's on schedule for completion this fall, but it won't be for the home opener. So the district is getting some help from friends across the river, with home football games being played at Dakota Valley to start the season. We hope to be able to end our season by playing some games here, maybe end of October. But if not, uh, we definitely have some very supportive educational partners in the Siouxland area that we're appreciative of. Not only will the complex house football games, but track and field, soccer, marching band, and many other community and club events too. Now there are still plenty of community funding opportunities available for phase two of the complex. If you'd like to learn more or donate, I have that information linked in the story at Siouxlandnews.com.